e-learning research. The podcast. The podcast. I don't think they're uh, reluctant to integrate ICT. I think it's just a matter of um, feeling prepared and confident. They aren't reluctant, but they don't perceive that they have the appropriate support or time. Teachers being highly enthusiastic about it and wanting to use it and, 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 and trying to use it, but not being, uh, in general, not being supported by the system, as it were. I think what's really important is giving them time to feel comfortable enough using it themselves. Otherwise, it will sit in the corner and they won't want to use it. It was a lot of work to you know, set up uh, an LCD projector and I could just use an overhead or a chalkboard instead. Half the time you know you bring your class into a computer lab and you know three quarters of the computers don't work and then you've got you spend your whole time in the computer lab figuring out how to make them work. While we accept in any hospital that the doctors of course do not fix the technical equipment we do expect in schools that teachers fix uh, the equipment as well as be the expert in teaching and learning. They need, you know, time and access and really that's, if you add in a little bit of checking in, a little bit of accountability, a little bit of leadership in asking teachers how they're doing and what tools they need, that can make a massive difference. Besides as a, uh, a large cross-national comparison of how, how IT is used in schools and the most recent Sites report just uh, published last week uh, used data from the year 2006 um, and uh, a country like Singapore is sort of mentioned. So looking at the Singaporean school system uh, one can identify a couple of uh, I guess reasons why uh, uh, which are sort of pointed to success factors uh, and, and one clear success factor in, this, in the Singaporean system is the alignment of policy um, with, uh, with IT integration. So for instance, schools do have uh, dedicated IT support staff. We've had teachers who've been using laptops and tablet PCs with um, primary school and high school kids with digital cameras and um, wireless networks. They were interested in doing it because they had a lot of support. They got time away from their classrooms to learn how to do this. They got support in the classroom. And as long as they had someone there who could maybe take care of the technical, the technology aspects of it um, and they could focus on the lesson itself and managing the classroom, what they're, what they're good at. If you don't have a supportive administrative team, um, you won't really get very far. The principal will decide where the money goes and where it's being spent. And so if they have a different focus than ICT, you don't really have a lot of that uh, infrastructure in the classroom. Success stories relate to how IT is management in Singapore. Again, uh, uh, principals and the schools get, uh, can make IT decisions to a large extent, so they can uh, fit uh, IT to their purposes and take into account local and, uh, and specific local demands and specific capacities. It's not about additional teacher training um, for teachers to integrate ICT into the classroom. It's about creating the support structures for teachers to have the time and to have the freedom to be able to explore using ICT. It's not training. Most teachers go to training and there's zero retention. There can be a bit of information overload. I think what needs to happen in teacher technology training programs is a more basic um, knowledge set for teachers to be able to adapt and learn how to use new forms of technology instead of learning how to use a particular piece of software that will be obsolete within a year. Uh, the right role for a teacher in an IT enriched classroom is not to be the technical geek or the technical expert. The right role for a teacher is probably more one uh, of, of somebody who uses IT to learn more about his or her students learning. I'm teaching teachers to be critical, critical consumers of technology and media um, and how to adapt to new forms of technology is probably a better way to have them integrate technology into their classrooms. I think for that teachers will need to be better prepared to act as inquirers of their own practice, to act as researchers of their own practice. Teachers cannot innovate IT, uh, but what they can innovate is the practices they use in order to, in, to use IT in their classrooms, so they can be innovators of their practice. So it's really about creating a culture where you can, where teachers are able to explore ICT and have the time to do that.